Here's some examples of division involving fractions. Normally when dividing by a fraction, we rewrite the problem as the multiplication problem. Dividing by five halves is the same as multiplying by two fifths. So two thirds divided by five halves is the same as two thirds times two fifths. So while it might be tempting to try to simplify this problem here because of these twos, we don't want to try to do any simplifying until it's written as a multiplication problem. And notice as a multiplication problem, nothing simplifies. So now we'll multiply the numerators and denominators. So two times two is equal to four, and three times five is equal to 15. So two thirds divided by five halves is equal to four fifteenths. Let's take a look at a second example. Again, the first step is going to be to rewrite this as a multiplication problem. Dividing by sixteen ninths is equivalent to multiplying by nine sixteenths. So we'll have eight twenty sevenths times nine sixteenths. Now before we multiply, we want to try to simplify this, which means we want to simplify out any common factors between any numerator and any denominator. Now even though you probably know your multiplication tables well enough to identify some common factors between eight and sixteen as well as nine and twenty-seven, I'm going to rewrite everything in prime factored form. The prime factorization of eight would be two times two times two. The prime factorization of twenty-seven would be three times three times three. Nine is equal to three times three. Sixteen is equal to four times four. So in prime factored form, we're going to have four factors of two. And now we can easily identify the common factors between the numerators and denominators. Here we have one, two, three factors of two common. And here we have two factors of three common. Now when we multiply, this will already be in simplest form. In the numerator, all of these simplify to one. So we have a numerator of one. The denominator is going to be three times two, which is six. So eight twenty-sevenths divided by sixteen ninths is equal to one-sixth. I do want to make one quick comment here. Instead of writing this out in prime factored form, we could have identified a common factor of eight between eight and sixteen, meaning there's one eight and eight and two eighths and sixteen. And we could also identify a common factor of nine between nine and twenty-seven, meaning there's one nine and nine and three nines and twenty-seven giving us the same product of one six. But I think when you're first learning, this prime factorization technique here is nice because it's very similar to how we simplify fractions. And it can also be helpful when adding fractions when we have to obtain a common denominator.